and welcome to the first 100, where I take a show and watch literally every episode up to the 100th and review it. Today's episode is episode 2 of El Tigre, The Adventures of Manny Rivera, The Night of the Living Guacamole. So, this episode starts with a porn joke. Which is how I would say it if the show was written and played with no soul, but in this case it actually works. Yes, everyone, I found it. The one porn joke in children's media that's actually delivered well. And, uh, the first joke of the second episode. That's pretty bold. Also, we get this line. Mommy, what are you up to? Uh, nothing! Helping the poor! Ah, the poor. Very good. Oh, man, this is so good! Money! Ah! I just spoke to the poor, and you have not been helping them! So, uh, after that, we get a more intricate joke, and then some playful joking again, and... Boy, the show is really good at keeping its jokes fresh. Unfortunately, it has the same mood throughout, which is something I have a problem with. I mean, you know, there's only so much playful until it gets boring. You kind of have to throw something else in there. This episode actually has a moral, I think. But as I said in episode 1's review, this show is not about morals. This episode used a pretty safe plot formula of main character uses money or time on something they shouldn't have faced the consequences and ultimately have to return money or spend extra time to stop some disproportionately large evil that comes from it. That's not a spoiler, because you should have been able to guess that. Unless maybe I just watched too many cartoons. While the plot was cheap and overused, this episode focused instead on its humor, which was really good. And it shows how to use running jokes without overdoing it. Uh, it even has a cutaway gag that works. Guacamole de los angeles. Made only from the finest avocados, hand-picked by blind monkeys and crushed by the delicate feet of virtuous ladies high in the Andes Mountains. And it makes pretty complicated jokes as well as easy jokes. Well, I'm okay. Except for my internal organs, bones, and skin. Ugh. I mean, I could go on for like 30 minutes explaining every one of these jokes and why they added to the overall mood, but uh, I'm not going to do that. The point is, this episode was so humorous that even the imagery that would normally turn me away from the episode wasn't enough to break the mood. No, when they opted into this low-key gross out, they kept the squeamish audience's attention with this jab at the power of love trope. I now command them to destroy you! hurt me! Right, Dad? Oh, almost never! So, in conclusion, <laughs> I just made every lit nerd squirm, including myself. The plot was predictable, and using it as a vessel for jokes seemed a bit cheap, but the quality and diversity of the jokes made this a very enjoyable episode. And with that, I am free. I'm gonna go watch something else. Ciao! This TV isn't even plugged in! Hey! You're just a little kid! Look! A thing! Where? Oh, man.